I evaluated our house guests day one. I evaluated the type of season we will have early and I have adapted my game week by, y'all saw the season we had. Every week yeah. was unpredictable. So you had to have the ability to pivot the type. You can't stick to one game plan. You have, you're playing a different team every week. And so I don't rush. If you're ever trying to play this game, don't rush into making decisions. You have nothing but time in the Big Brother house to think. So think your way through this game. Welcome to the Secret Alliance podcast, where we talk about the game of Big Brother with the people who play it. Hannah Chada from BB23 and Jason Guy from BB3 are chatting with your BB26 winner, Chelsea. Oh my God. How does it feel? It feels amazing. This is a dream come true. I mean, you talked about being the fan of the show, watching as a little one, and here you are. Oh my gosh, it's so different when you watch the show for so many years and not even not even just getting on it, but winning it. It's just it's surreal. It is uh, I don't know what that's like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I am just so grateful. Oh, it feels great. I want to know sort of what's going on in your head when Mackenzie won the final HOH. Were you sweating that she might not take you? And you said to the jurors you were confident that she was going to take you. Cam would have taken you. You knew you were going there, but it really let us know what was going on. Was that part of you winning this game, that confidence? Or, or do you really, did you really know that? One of the biggest moves of Big Brother, honestly, probably this season and getting me out in this, she, she, she honestly we won the game. She did that. Um, but we had developed such a close relationship and, um, and had vowed to each other, honestly, like, Hey, no matter what we've worked too hard to not sit next to each other at the end, let the jury do what the jury does. She knew that I was going to take her and I had a confidence about 90% that she was going to take me. I, it was so impressive to watch how cool and collected you were and how you managed mm -hmm. that jury, even with the questioning. It was Thank brilliant. You. Thank you. A masterclass. A masterclass. <laughs> okay, yes. Let's talk about MJ's decision to take you to final two. This was a bit different in some ways. You had a lot of HOHs evicting their close allies. T Court evicted Tucker, MJ evicted Leah, and you had a very large hand in that, which maybe it, it was it kind of became clear that MJ was not aware of the influence that you had on her game, which may just be a testament to how well you missed it her. Um, Quinn evicted Cedric. So why do you think that was? And then kind of bringing the conversation back to you, how were you able to convince MJ to take you to final two? Did she know she was going to lose or had you missed it her so badly? I, honestly, um, I think she had such a confidence that she was going to win no matter who she sat next to um, because she was such a comp beast. She stated to me a couple of times throughout the week. She was like, even if you win this last HOA, I still have more competition wins than you. So kind of basically felt like she was going to take the win, but she's not a fan like me. And I know when it comes to jury votes that it, it it's more than that. They consider more than that. So I just let her believe that, yes, you've had more competition wins than me. You probably will beat me. And I'm glad to lose next to you. But I knew not only does jury look at it from other perspectives, we had a different jury, an emotional jury. There's social jury. So I let her think that and use that to my advantage. So uh, it worked in my favor. But you have the stats, too. You brought up that... For the competitions you were in, your winning percentage was better. So you really even turned that on. Like I, I'm still winning more when I get in a competition. And I thought that was interesting. And you said you had to survive. So you you were not as strong social. And you, you flipped those things that I think she thought she was going to use to sway the jury. How, how did you come up with that? Had you really thought that through? Yeah, she had uh, this last week talked a lot about her stats publicly before me and cam and so i took that as inventory and if those if that is what she felt like was the strongest points i needed to influence the jury at how uh, i had influence in those strong points or how it wasn't really that strong have playing seven more competitions because you were on the block being on the block more and surviving is one thing than not being on the block at all uh so i just had to play my cards she may have felt like it was a strength but i was able to twist it as uh, 
it's kind of a, a weakness. You worked harder than you really needed to because you position yourself as a threat. She didn't view her game that way. I and you articulated it well and you know i do have to give mackenzie her flowers because yes. playing a game of self-preservation is hard yes. it is often a game that does not quite see finale night um yes. because at some point you just get axed um and the fact that she didn't have any like tangible game relationships for weeks and made it to the end at such a young age is an impressive feat so I do have to give that to her, but the way that you were able to just take that and flip it on its head, I was like, who <laughs> is this woman from Rancho Cucamonga? Who, 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 where did they find her? Because I've driven through here. I've never seen her before. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Okay. So I have a, I have a question for you, Jason. Is it okay if I yes, ask please it? Please jump in here. Okay. 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 I'm just, Ooh, I love this game. I love it. Okay. So just tell me if I'm talking too much, but, um, Okay, so it's undoubtedly true that you played one of the most dominant games of Big Brother in recent history, but also one of the most well-rounded games of all time. I think when people reflect on this season and reflect on this game as a whole and the fact that it's been around longer than I've been alive, they will talk about Dr. Will, they will talk about Dan Beasling, they will talk about Danielle Reyes, they will talk about... Chelsea, they'll talk about Tiffany. Like you uh, have truly joined the ranks of uh, legends. Oh and I just want to take a moment to acknowledge that. Can you offer some preemptive reflections and just insight on what this win means to you? I'm sure you're still processing. Uh, still, uh, I'm sure you're still in shock, but just, yeah. just you have the floor, Chelsea. Thank you. Thank you so much that's an honor that you even put me in the category with those greats um honestly i respect this game so much i love this game so much and i wanted to not only represent my community well but be seen as a good player and so honestly um I evaluated our house guests day one. I evaluated the type of season we will have early and I have adapted my game week by y'all saw the season we had every week yeah. was unpredictable. So you had to have the ability to pivot the type. You can't stick to one game plan. You had, you're playing a different team every week. And so I don't rush. If you're ever trying to play this game, don't rush into making decisions. You have nothing but time in the big brother house to think. So think your way through this game, be smart and play the game slow. We see the, play, the players try to play fast and get people out. Uh, there's no longevity. And when you enter the house, Make decisions with the end in mind. What do you want to in your way towards? And have I enjoyed my time and treated people well in the house. Have fun. And I didn't even expect to end up with the statistics that I did. I just wanted to get out of that microchip outfit and enjoy my summer and not get evicted week one. So enjoy your time. We're on Big Brother. What the heck? Yes. And be smart. And no one to not talk. <laughs> RC, they just been shut you, up. You know a lot of people who didn't know that. <laughs> I was just going to say, Chelsea, that is much easier said than done because yeah. a lot of us cannot keep our mouth shut and <laughs> it just ends up biting us in the butt. Yes. But, okay, oh. no, thank you, thank you, thank you for right. the how to. Yeah. I, but. I think it's a, I, Hannah, as you said, it's a master class. I think there there will be people studying this who want to get mm -hmm. on big brother what you did chelsea in mm -hmm. season 26 and I, I i do think that you you've made yourself uh, certainly a legend and, and for us to watch mm -hmm. it it was so fun congratulations oh, um it, what's the family saying uh, sort of what's next here i know they're going to wrap us up soon uh the family is just so so proud of me i know they are uh tears we saw tears right the tears my dad, I walked out and the first thing I saw was my dad and his red eyes. I said, oh, oh, and then he said, you made me nervous. I said, well, I made myself nervous too, dad. But uh, <laughs> I know I made my family uh, proud. And that's, I wanted to, I was willing to take Mackenzie to the end and risk that money to play a game that people can say they were proud and respected the game that I played. So hearing how my family responded to seeing how I handled myself in situations 
bar the money, just how I've handled myself, um, their words mean the world to me. Oh, I love that. I love that, Chelsea. Thank I you. I can't wait to hear what, you know, winning and this victory and when you sort of look back on the journey with a little time passing. I mean, it hasn't mm-hmm. even been 24 hours yes. to just know uh, s- sort of your thoughts on that. And I hope we get a yes. chance to chat with you when we have a little more time down, yes. down the road. Yes. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Hannah, for your time. Yeah. Of course. We no, thank, thank you, you Chelsea. Of Sending course. you all the love. It was thank great you. to talk to you this morning. Thank you. Bye, Bye guys. But oh, hey, we've got the receipts. We were calling you a long time ago. I, there was an oh, yeah. even, when we got down to the final three, we posted here at the Secret Alliance. And I said, if you take Chelsea to the end, it's dangerous. She's going to win it. And just sure enough, I said, and, and there it yes. is. Yes. <laughs> well, do you remember the, I think the first week, because, you know, it, it's hard to make um, like predictions just based off of what you see on social media and reading yeah. your interviews. So that first week, I think we said, Chelsea and Cedric are definitely dark horses this season. They are surprising us to be mm. quite honest. Yeah. And we, we've had you as a front runner for a long time. And a lot of people have had you as a front runner for oh my a God. long time. So thank you. Thank Kudos you. Thank you for not stressing us out. <laughs> we love seeing the two women in those chairs. Yeah. Mackenzie, congrats to you, Chelsea. Yes. As a winner. Uh, but yeah. Mm. What a great, a great winner for season 26. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you checking out the Secret Alliance podcast. Make sure you tell someone who loves Big Brother all about us. We're making plans to create some content for you during the off season. Subscribe to the channel and get notifications so you'll be the first to watch. We hope you'll give this video a like. Watch some of our earlier episodes from this BB26 season to see when we began to notice Chelsea emerging as a possible victor and leave us your comments. Thanks.